Okay, question four. Ratio question and percentages. So we get told that rubber is mixing paint. He's making green paint from yellow paint and blue paint in a ratio of two to three. Make 50 litres of green. He buys yellow in five litre tins for £26 a tin and blue in 10 litre tins for £48 a tin. He sells his green paint in 10 litre tins for £66.96. What's his percentage profit? Okay, it says what's his percentage profit for each tin of green paint. That's going to be the same percentage profit as his total profit because he's making the same profit on every single green tin of green paint. Okay, his overall percentage profit will be the same as one for each tin. So it's easier to work out his total profit, percentage profit, than what for each tin. Okay, you could if you wanted to divide each number by five, but you get the same answer. Okay, so first of all, we need to know how much paint of each one we want. So we've got yellow and blue in the ratio two to three, and they add up to get five, and we want 50 litres, so we have to times each of them by 10. So I want 20 litres of yellow and 30 litres of blue. 20 litres of yellow will be four tins. So yellow, four tins, times 26 pounds is 104 pounds. Okay, blue, we want 30 litres, so we need three tins, times 48 pounds, which is 144 pounds. Okay, so the total spends on paint, is £248. Okay. How much money does he make from all of the paint? Well, he sells 50 litres of paint at £66.96. So green, we need to do five tins times £66.96. At this point, I'm reaching for my calculator, which is £334.80. So now, we want to work out the percentage profit. It's the same as percentage change, it's a simple formula. So it's change over original times 100. So what's it changed by? Well, it's gone from 248 to 33480. So we do 33480 minus 248 over the original, which is how much he originally spent, 248. And we times the answer by 100. Okay, so minus 248 equals. Okay. And we get the answer of a 35% profit. Okay. If he wanted, he could have divided that by 5 to work out the total cost per tin to him and done £66.96 minus whatever that was and then over whatever that was times 100. I'll just do that for you quickly. So 248 divided by five, so 49 pounds 60. That's how much it costs him to make one tin. And then if we've done 66 pound 96 minus 49 pound 60, over 49 pound 60 to get the profit per tin, times by 100, okay, 66.96 minus 49.6, we still get 35%. Okay, so it doesn't matter which of the two you did. I think that was more straightforward, but you could have gone down this method. All right, that's question four.